In the name of Allah, who is most beneficent and merciful, my name is Omar Hariva. I'm from chemistry department. My ID is 014. Today, I'm going to deliver a presentation of industrial chemistry. And topic of my presentation is nuclear fuels. In this presentation, I'll discuss what is nuclear energy for which nuclear fuel is specifically used. Then production of the nuclear fuel in which I'll discuss about a cycle and main processes of this cycle include mining and milling, conversion and enrichment, fuel fabrication, electricity generation, processing and recycling of the nuclear fuel. Then I'll discuss about some other sources of the nuclear fuels, their advantages and their disadvantages. So first of all, we see what is nuclear energy. It is use of nuclear reactions that release nuclear energy to generate heat, which most frequently is then used in steam turbines to produce electricity in a nuclear power plant. So this electricity is basically generated by two types of reactions, which are main to nuclear fuel and nuclear fuel. Presently, most of the electricity from nuclear power is produced by nuclear fuel of two radioactive isotope, uh, radioactive isotope of the uranium, and the other um, element is plutonium, from which presently electricity is produced. So, first of all, we see what is definition of nuclear fuel. It is a material which is used in the nuclear power stations to produce heat to power turbines. Heat is created when nuclear fuel and it causes nuclear fuel. In this reaction, you can see when a neutron is absorbed by the uranium, lighter elements are formed. Neutrons are also emitted with high energy. Then examples are include uranium isotope 235, Plutonium isotope 239. Then we see nuclear fuel cycle. There are some main steps in the nuclear fuel cycle like mining and milling, conversion and enrichment, then fuel fabrication and reprocessing. First of all, we see what is mining. When uranium is near the surface, miners take the rock out of open pits. Open pit mining strips over the top soil and rock that lie above the uranium ore. When uranium is found deep underground, miners must dig underground mines to reach it. The rock is then removed through underground tunnels. So, after this step, milling starts. This process takes place at a mill after the ore containing uranium is removed from the earth through open pit or underground mining. The ore is brought to a mill crushed and ground up before chemicals are added to dissolve the uranium. And the uranium is separated from the chemical solution, solidified, dried, and packaged. So after milling, milling takes place, and after milling, the product is only 0.7% of the natural uranium is fissile are capable of undergoing fear the process by which energy is produced. So isotope separation, the physical process to concentrate one isotope relative to others actually requires the uranium to be in a gaseous form. So the uranium oxide is first refined to uranium dioxide and then the balance most of the uranium dioxide is then converted into uranium. Then uranium hexafluoride, which is the final form in which it is converted and then drained into 14 ton cylinders where it solidifies. So you can see there was a product at the end of the mining. So there is also a product at the end of the mining. Milling. 
Then enrichment process take place, which separates gaseous uranium hexafluoride into two substrates, one being enriched to the required level and known as low enriched uranium, and the other is progressively depleted in uranium-235 and is called tilled as simply depleted uranium. So here you can see there is the structure of the uranium hexafluoride. Then fuel fabrication is the next step. Reactor fuel is generally in the form of the ceramic pellets. These are formed from pressed uranium oxide, which is baked at high temperature. The pellets are then encased in metal tubes to form fuel rods, which are arranged into a fuel assembly ready for introduction into the reactor. The dimensions of fuel pellets and other components are precisely controlled because it is necessary to make sure consistency in the characteristics and behavior of the fuel. Then in a fuel fabrication, plant grade care is also taken with the size and shape of processing vessels to avoid critical. A nuclear power plant is much like any gas or coal power plant. What is heated to produce steam at extremely high temperature and pressures. This steam is used to drive turbines, which then turn generators, producing the electrically electrical energy we use every day in our environment. Significant difference between fossil fuel and nuclear power plants. The main difference is that in fossil fuel plant, heat is produced by burning gas or coal. In a nuclear plant, heat is generated by the fission of some radioactive elements like uranium in the nuclear fuel assemblies. When the nucleus of an atom, for example, uranium isotope 235 absorbs a neutron, it may separate into pieces, give off energy, and also some neutrons. Then, Depending on the policies of the countries, some used fuel may be transferred to the central storage facilities while there is a clear incentive for in time storage. Used fuel must ultimately either be reprocessed in order to recycle most of it or prepared for permanent disposal. The longer it is stored, the easier it is to handle due to decay of the radioactivity. So there are two options for used fuel. Either it can reprocessing to recover and recycle the usable portion of it or long-term storage. So which steps we take this in the reprocessing? Because the next step is reprocessing. It separates uranium and plutonium from waste products by cutting up the fuel rods and dissolving them in acid to separate the waste materials. It enables recycling of uranium and plutonium into fresh fuel and produces a significantly reduced amount of waste. The remaining 3% of high-level radioactive waste can be stored in liquid form and subsequently solidified. Then recycling takes place. And in the recycling, the uranium recovered from reprocessing, which contains a slightly higher concentration of uranium isotope 235 than it occurs in nature and it can be used as fuel of the conversion and its enrichment. Then, plutonium can directly made into mixed oxide fuel in which uranium and plutonium oxides are combined. While in reactors that use AMOX fuel like mixed, or mi mixed oxide fuel, plutonium substitutes for the uranium-235 in normal uranium oxide fuel. About eight fuel assemblies reprocessed can yield one AMOX fuel assembly, two thirds of an enriched uranium fuel assembly, and about three tons of depleted uranium plus about 150 kg of waste. So, all this avoids the need to purchase about 12 tons of the natural uranium from a mine. This is one of the main advantages of this process. Then you can see. There is a cycle of fuel, nuclear fuels. So first of all, you can see there is fuel element manufacture from which fuel elements are obtained. 
and they are used in the nuclear power station after then the burnt up fuel elements are reprocessed and uh, specific elements are added in this then conversion take place and after conversion enrichment takes place and this cycle continues for the long time then there are also other sources of the nuclear fuels like uranium ores, phosphate ores, seawater, wet phosphoric acid. There are some advantages of nuclear fuel that is independent on fossil fuel, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide emissions are minimal as compared to other fossil fuels, and um, cost is not affected by fluctuation in oil or gas. Oil and gas prices, which is one of the commercial application or advantage, a properly functioning nuclear power plant will release less radioactivity into the atmosphere than a coal power plant. Then there, uh, this is the advantage at the industrial level. Nuclear power station do not produce any carbon dioxide from nuclear fusion, so that they don't cause as much pollution as burning fossil fuels. So there are some also disadvantages. Like a body called the World Association of Nuclear Operators was set up that is re, uh, geared towards safe and reliable operation of nuclear power plants by conducting independent peer reviews for every new nuclear power plant operating across the world. And if nuclear power plants are managed effectively and waste disposed of appropriately, nuclear energy can provide the most reliable, stable, and clean source of energy to the world population. So in this diagram, you can see, we can summarize disadvantages of the nuclear fuel. Transportation poses contamination risks, mining and purifying uranium is not a very clean process, they cause pollution, and average nuclear power plant, uh, nuclear plant generates 20 metric tons annually of high level radioactive waste. So disposal of this waste is also tough in meantime, it will emit radiation and heat, which means it will eventually corrode any container it is kept in. So this was a brief presentation about nuclear fuels. Thank you.